In Trimble, we value our customers and business partner emerging requirements and feedback. And this is why we continuously invest in adding more features in our platform to allow our customer to drive more constructible workflows in order to drive efficiency and to control project delivery time and cost and to enhance connectivity to support data liberation and drive collaboration within the team and other stakeholders and to advance manufacturer content which can save your valuable time and provide higher accuracy in procurement and estimation during 2019 we are proud to share with you this list of interesting features that we have added to tecla software and i will be glad to briefly walk you through some of these interesting features so let's start with the clone selected feature. So the clone selected feature will allow you to clone within the same drone. Basically, you will select the object you want to clone from, then select the object you want to clone to. And it will clone everything, part mark, dimensions, uh, associative notes, representation and hatching, everything. And we have the feature which is merging marks. If so if you have a similar parts, you can merge the mark together and they will become one mark, then you can later change the leader line as desired. And if later on you decided uh, to split the mark, there is the possibility to split it as well. All right, the document manager, which replaces the old drawing list. So from the name, it is a document manager. So it lists the drawings, the project files, DXF, NC files, uh, any kind of related project files you can list within the document manager. And we have the feature to freeze the column at the desired column. So basically I can freeze at the created date or at the mark. So I can know where I am whenever I scroll to the right side. And the search function functionality in the document manager is so intelligent. You can search for name, for UDA value, even for date, as you can see here. And uh, for the GA drawing also, if you select a GA drawing, it show now the part related to the GA drawing and vice versa. And there's a nice feature if you can now uh, combine and add a certain drawing into a category. So you know this drawing belong to a certain category and you can return back to it at any time. And we have a nice functionality called the uh, checkpoint. So this checkpoint feature will allow you to list down all the drawing that has been modified after certain save. This is a drawing version feature. Basically, uh, you can now list down all the versions for a particular drawing. And you can go back to any one of these versions simply by opening it. And if you like it, you can simply save the drawing and it will become the current drawing. This is the new radial grid command. Now you can easily add a true radial to the model. You can later uh, change the radial uh, spacing and the angular uh, This is between each grid. We have a new improvement to the construction line. Now we have the command called poly curve, which you can make a continuous uh, construction line, as you can see, and you can add uh, or make it curve as well. Plus, we have introduced a feature for giving an offset for construction line with a specific offset value. Besides this, we have uh, the, uh, the feature to change the color and line type for the construction lines. Besides this, uh, we can add arcs now in Tecla with different options, three points or center point and surface, that's possible. And for marks, you know, in the past, we, if you show the marks for the whole model, the view will not be clear enough. So now we introduce the feature to show only marks for the main parts. Or you can show marks only for selected parts only. So you select the part and you will see the marks fall. And for plates, we have introduced a new feature to make a standalone plate. This is useful for partial cones. Because in the past we have issues in uh, unfolding partial cones, but now with this feature you will get a nice unfolded drawing. And in Tecla 2019i, we introduced a new feature called the lofted plate, 
It's a really nice feature for modeling a very complicated blades. So let me show you how it works. So the lofted blade basically will allow you to model a lofted plate between two different uh, construction lines. First select the first construction line, then select the second one and you will see the plate formed along. So whatever like uh, the shape of the plate with this feature you can make. It works between also between circular uh, construction line or between straight and uh, arc construction line. And this is the no hole option which introduced in Tecla 2019. This is useful in case you're, you don't want to make a hole in the part itself, but you want the bolt to be visible in the model for quantity. So this will not affect the NC file. And this is the new visualizer we have for Tecla structure, which is the new rendering. Basically it will launch the Table Connect visualizer and you can see the model in rendered view. And you can see the different material, steel material, concrete material, glass, and others. And this is the new functionality which to export to Revit directly from Tecla. So now you can generate .rvt file out of Tecla directly. And this is useful for coordination and collaborating with other uh, file formats. Thanks for watching. And for those who are on maintenance, take advantage of this. And if you're not on maintenance, then you're missing out.